TCAP practice test, grade 7, math section, question number 32. The members of a school club are planning a car wash. They estimate that 650 gallons of water will need to wash 10 cars. Will be needed to wash 10 cars. At this rate, which equation could be used to estimate the number of gallons of water needed to wash 25 cars? So I've got number of cars and water. That would be two things. I have three numbers, 25 cars, 10 cars, and 650 gallons. So if I have two things, three numbers, and I need the fourth, the two, three, four thing means set a proportion, right? And the idea of setting up a proportion is I need to set one fraction up for one situation and one fraction up to the other and set them equal to each other. So I'm going to set up a fraction or a ratio for something that I already know about. I know that for 650 gallons of water, I can wash 10 cars. Now, I don't know if you've seen some of the other videos, but in one of the videos I talk about setting a proportion kind of like managing an insane asylum. In an insane asylum, in many of them anyway, especially in the older ones like uh, that we have around here, you have two types of people. You'll have the regular people who you know just need therapy, and then you have the criminally insane. You do not want to house them in the same exact place because one could manipulate the other. It's a bad situation. So we used to talk about keeping people who are dangerous on one floor and people who are uh, quote-unquote safe on the other floor floor. So you need to keep them on the same level in each of your fractions. So in this case, if I have cars on the top floor, let's say that cars are dangerous or criminals or whatever, I'm going to put cars on top of the other one as well. Same thing with gallons. I know in this situation that 25 cars goes on top and then X on the bottom. I'm going to look to, or G, I should say, not X. I don't know why I chose X there. I always choose it, I think. G gallons. So I'm going to look for this to be set up in this way, and if not, I could just flip both of them, get the same answer. I'm not really sure where 35 comes from, so F is out. Uh, G has 35 in it as well, so that's out. Now this one says 650 is on the same uh, is on the top floor, and 25 is on the top floor. Well, 650 is gallons, and 25 is cars. You're mixing and matching your people in your asylum, so don't do that. So H is out. And in this case, 650 gallons is on top. That's fine. Gallons on top as well. 10 cars, 25 cars. J is the correct answer. Really, I wrote it upside down on mine, but I can still do the same thing. If I put 650 gallons, it will give me 10 cars. And I want to keep the integrity of my asylum. I'm going to keep gallons on top. And I'm going to put cars on the bottom. So that's how you would set it up. Just make sure that gallons are on top, cars are on the bottom, or the opposite, cars are on top, gallons are on the bottom. As long as the units match on top and bottom, your proportions should be set up correctly.